for good evening Ghana, Paul Adomochi any host to na or year program no na or can be be efa galam see him. Na we and what did John Dramani Mahama a bem na of a Tony and Tony also wo NDC for us I run so bemo. Na obo videos be eighteen kumobi far hua a trending and call for me be na a busa home question say eh. And na uh MPP ni NDC and I say NDC for man you call me do with the so much say. E eh, dia sem na nesi sa time na o kan bibi fa galamsi ho ene eye eh, kwan galamsi ni asai ni oma ene eh, hawa aye eh, conversation e eh, wo Ghana because si ye eh, beto abai obi a e eh, penkomo a e eh, trendy adb eh, ene eh, galamsi nsu ya dia eh, very important e eh, wo se Ghana ni bia de hie etia eh, ne yam etimhi eh, ni wo nti po adom wo chire tena se ya wo di ni komo no ene eh, obo videos bi ahodua e eh, free ndc for aso ye a wo ko galamsi site ya na omo she eye mamufu wono kutupa se omo enko ye galamse afi kura so die se eh mahama no be ye president ya obebo modin abe yi omo agalamse no ntie chichi wo omo amafu mi bi nan so e chere se galamse no omo a chichi wo omo no omo kwa do omo nya galamse ni emu ye chairman fo mpenfo mpenfo omo ye galamse no enko da nkoda na amko chichi omo de enko je fe because enko da no no ti ba bi kom na de no ana senior ma bi atam na ko shi wulo mo no ye ne galamse ntia koda na wache na wo ko jili no ni chema no besa fa ni papofro amena ko ye galamse ni bi enko man ko fonso edi no na ye nko tie ensema hodo apo adom kire e kaaye time wana o ye give divine gana e fa e ye galamse ni ho ene john dramani mahama ene ofa toni ensema o mo ye kaaye no ye ntie di mahama din ka ka ye wi ai be ko ni second video no bo ya a critical conversation e wo gana no ye be kwa kutie no so and i love you all my viewers i love you i love you i love you so much I mean, they are watching your show. They are producing the show for you. They are telling you you should do this. They say the thing you said, you haven't finished saying it. You have lost one paragraph. Oh, I have never seen a group of viewers like this before. Wow. Okay. This is the John Mahama video. Have a look. Hey, you. You're 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 this is what president mahama said some people look at it as a clear statement undermining the government's efforts to keep Galam. Say, because if you are former president, 2020, if you are former president uh, of 2013 to 2017, a president comes in at 2017, he launches a major um, anti Galam say policy. They call it all sorts of names oppression, this oppression, that oppression, that. And then in 2020's elections, two years down the line, the former president tells the people campaigning in the Galam say areas. That if I am elected, everybody arrested under Galamsey, I'll release them. Viewers, you decide. I mean, he's former president. I can't talk about him anyhow. He's former president. As for Tony Obin, I can deal with him. As for John C. I can deal with him. But this is former president. Uh, decorum to the office of the president, the seat that he occupied. I can't say much. But listen to it again and make your own view out of it. This is, I, I think that it's a clear way to undermine the government's policy of Galamse, where you would have thought that um, civil society and government and opposition and parliament will come together uh, to sort of uh, erase this menace and cause it to be a thing of the past. It's a menace, it's a stigma on our society, and it involves a lot of money. So it's, it's problematic in terms of solving it. And uh, when a government in place is trying to solve it, and it's election time, and for the sake of votes and for the sake of election, the former president makes these comments. I, I don't know what you want to make of it. Video we do think can boy a fat John Domani Mahama home. Ah, Mahama, a eka, a will campaign, simply so. Ah, what should I say? Eh, omo ya chichu omo gala msi ni muno no ba obiti mi abu wa momu yina aba abu wa ntini na bebe siyesi ya mini wadi sa hanko mono. Eh, second video boy eh, enso eh ya ura toni, ah ono su jina saito, olu jina hope eh, enu wa ochele se, eh, osho omu kutupa mo maye saadi eno. Nese gala msi di si ye eh, kase yise NPP kase ye guna NDC di baye kampin, NP, NDC kase ye guna NPP di baye kampin, nese si ya ye eh, kase video ya po wadomo chile be bono. Eye eh, NDC for ena ne edi ye campaign based on this video na mebe body achile wino. Ye nko ti asema hodwa eye eh, open yini e eh, ye e eh, bra po adomo chile na oye ni video and ase oye ni program no obo ofatoni yin se mo kwa kaye o campaign site no kansi mbi obedinka yin wo se 
ano don prince mu ko kan ye e wo parliament no eh parliament fo etimi akasetia eh association fo so o ye ban so akasetia ana mpp fo so akasetia o ka kan sansem ni nyina ansa na obebbo e ye ton de na o kujina simpi so time one na o mu ye galam se no wo ko site wan kasa eno ko di san ko mon ye ko tie nsema ho do apo adom ochre only two jobs. The Bar Association condemns an odd press statements. I believe the MPP condemns an odd press statements. An odd press is just a statement. He ought to be cautioned. Tony Orbin was directly urging the people to go and do Galamsey. Civil society say they have not heard it because he's a member of the opposition. Because all civil society are opposition and everybody doesn't like Akufado because Akufado is this, Akufado is that. He thinks his father was president. He thinks he knows. He thinks he thinks. He thinks. The man won one million votes. You were sitting down. Did you win one million votes with him? You were sitting down. And, and somehow, because of hatred for Akufuado, they don't want to mention Tony Urban. Is that how to develop a country? Is that how to build a country? We can't build a country like that. Let's build a country with honesty. All of those who call themselves leaders. We are news reporters. We are not leaders. We are news reporters. We are here to report the story. And we are here to look at the thesis, the synthesis, the antithesis. And we shall never renege on that. If you look at the thesis, the antithesis, and the synthesis of Galamsi, this man should be called out by everybody who is looking at the analysis correctly. How can a man like this, a very important person in the mining sector, a lawyer, go and stand and tell Galamse people that if we win the election, you can come and continue your Galamse. And then Ghana Water comes to complain about Galamse, and the first person they talk about is the lands minister. Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? This is the problem with our civil society people. Those who say they are civil society, this is the problem. This is the problem. The pastors who are talking about Galamse, the, the most reverend Ajahn Asari. Have you heard Tony Urban? He's a member of the party that you sympathize with. And there's no problem with a party, a pastor sympathizing with any political party. Even America's pastor, Billy Graham, sympathized with the Republican Party. So there's no problem with that. But if you are a pastor, you are sympathizing with a political party, you ought to know that your integrity is first. In terms of the analysis, maybe Ajahn Asari hasn't heard it. I can understand that. He's a pastor. He's busy. He's managing a big church. Maybe he hasn't heard it. But now we've played the video. You've seen it. Tony Orbin, that's what he told him. Play the video for me again. And Tony Orbin is the second speaker. Play the video again. You see, I'm going to say the land in this year. I'm going to say the land in this year. I'm going to on the 11th, that way, on the 7th, you know. And he said, oh, 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 and the players are crackers, say, yet to a bar, move a chef, vanguard in Mukla. Yes, now say, am I by when the good man? On the seventh, on the eighth, on the ninth, the poor man, how many are you in now? Mumra, the young man. Yes, 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 Yo! <laughs> Tony Urban, you heard him, viewers, you heard him. Very decent man, very, very decent man, very knowledgeable, very intellectual. That's what he said. On the altar of politics, that's why I say that politics can destroy. On the altar of politics, wanting to show that he's, he's the, the, the largest person under the umbrella, he told the Galamseyers that you should go, why, why if we win the election, you are going to do your Galamsey. And this was to gain votes in 2020. Now, go and look at the votes tally in 2020. The new patriotic party lost the election in all the Galamsey areas. That's why Barbara Otinjesi is not in parliament. Barbara Otinjesi is not in parliament. That's why Mirko Duka nearly lost. Because the MPP lost all the Galamsey areas because the Galamsey people were aware that Tony Orban told them that if the NDC were to win, they would continue with Galamsey. So they voted for the NDC. You can't blame them for that. They are doing their work. And the work is illegal, but that's how they survive. 
And Dr. Baumia recently promised the Galamse people a new way of working. He talked about a mining loan, mining profile, mining this, mining that. And they seem to be excited about it because you have to give them something to take them away from the pit because they are Ghanaians and they are entitled to a livelihood. But they cannot have a livelihood that is destroying water for the rest. What do sociologists say? The greatest good for the greatest number of people. That's what sociologists say. Every good, the greatest of it all, how we determine that a good is great is that that good is serving the greatest number of people. That's what they say, the greatest good for the greatest number of people. It's an anthropology as well. So, so the people are entitled to a livelihood, aren't they? They are, they are Ghanaians, but can they continue to destroy the water for the livelihood? No, they cannot. So that's the point we are making. That about, about Muhammad Baumia went to them and gave them something else. They seemed excited about it. Our report is that the Galamsea arrests are excited about Muhammad Baumia's policy for them. And so, in September, civil society has been whipped to say that MPP is responsible for Galamse. They should show us that they can do the Galamse. They should take the soldiers to go and beat the Galamse people. Yes, they may have to put some force in there, but the hypocrisy must be dealt with. First deal with Tony Obin, because if you take the soldiers there now, Tony Obin will go and tell them that vote for NDC. When we vote for NDC, you do Galamse. So they'll be hiding away from the soldiers, waiting to vote for NDC, and that they'll do Galamse. Now, we should ask, what is the MPP's policy on Galamse? What is the NDC's policy on Galamse? Since the last 10 days, when the Galamse story started, have you heard John Dramani Mahama speak about what he will do with Galamse? They should ask him. He's the opposition leader. He's a former president under whose jurisdiction Aisha Wan did all the dirty that she did to Ghana. Everything Aisha Wan did to hurt Ghana was done when John Dramani Mahama was president of the republic. Shouldn't the media be asking John Dramani Mahama questions? That have you heard that Aisha Wan is being prosecuted based on things she did when you were president? Were you aware that she was doing these things? If you become president again, what policy would you put in place so that the likes of Aisha Wan will not be able to exit and strive? Are we asking John Mahama that question? Or civil society is designed just to fight Akufuado? Civil society is designed to fight Akufuado. Then, when you are listening to the news, something that has nothing to do with auditing, then they say that uh, also on the phone is the former Auditor General, Dom Lebo. Then he's talking about something that he doesn't even understand. He's an auditor, he's a chartered accountant. Now they call him for everything anti Akufuado. They call Dom Lebo. What kind of practice is this? What kind of practice is this? Everything. Dom Lebo is answering questions on law, Dom Lebo is asking questions on Supreme Court's procedure. Dom Levo is asking questions on political legitimacy. Dom Levo is asking questions or answering questions on everything that they think will generate something against Akufuado. Dom Levo is there. So the whole civil society is against Akufuado and they have reneged on their responsibility to be a true civil society for the enforcement of the 1992 constitution. It is for the enforcement of the 1992 constitution. Tony Urban, let's start with him. If you jumped on your bin, then you have not done any service to Ghana. Because that's what he said. He said it. That the people should do the galamse and they should vote for NDC. And that if they vote for NDC and they do the galamse, NDC will come and allow them to do their work. That's what an intelligent man told galamseers so that they will get votes. Did they get the votes? Yes, they did. They did. Go to all the galamse areas. NDC won everywhere. And that's what they started again. Government should take the soldiers there. Clamp down, Galamse makers. Tony Obi will go there in the night. He'll wear his beautiful, expensive lacoste like you saw him wearing. And his very nice spectacles. A very nice man. He will go there, there, and go and speak fancy with them. And tell them that, hey, won't he? As you know, and here you are, Galamse no obey. It won't to Obama, John Dramani Mahama. You heard him say it. Eight, ninth, this. Vote for John Dramani Mahama. And then Tony Obi will come and help them to do the Galamse. Because John Dramani Mahama is president. This is how he wants to benefit from Galamse. He wants to benefit from Galamse by NDC being elected. Show me another politician who has said that. You won't find. You will find Tony Orban. And civil society say that they haven't seen it. They haven't heard it. What kind of Ghana are we building? What kind of Ghana are we building? You may not like Akufado. Me too. I don't like Kutua Champon. But you can't take away from Kutua Champon what he has done. Some people don't like Dr. Liman, but you can't take from Dr. Liman what he has done. Some people don't like J.J. Rollins, a large number of people don't like J.J. Rollins, but you can't take away from some. You may not like Akufuado, but Godfrey Dami has showed you the statistics that in this fourth republic, no government has prosecuted on Galamse than Akufuado's government. You can't take that away from him. What you can take away from him is Tony Orban. 
Tony Urban is the one you can take. Tony Urban. Tony Urban is the one you should be dealing with. As for Akufuado, he has given you the details of what he has done with Galamse. Bema Beyebi, Wambeyeninina. He tried to do his best. The Galamse is a very complicated situation. But you have people like Tony Urban who are festering it underneath and hiding in the bush to go and talk to Galamseyers and tell them that they should come and do the Galamse because when they do the Galamse, uh, they will not do anything to them if John Dramani Mahama is president. No civil society, no media is questioning John Dramani Mahama. That I shall want. Everything I shall want did was done in your tenure. She's now been convicted. Do you have you seen it? What is your reaction to the fact that Aisha Wan has been convicted? Given that everything Aisha Wan did was done in 2013, 14, 15, when you, John Dramani Mahama, was president of Ghana. Now it makes sense, that is it. Because Tony Urban, who is a bona fide member of the NDC, is telling the Galamsey this for 2020's election. He should be arrested. He should be arrested and questioned by the police. Now, what did you see? Now, when the leaders of the society see that this is happening, there will be a problem. They are chasing Akonta mining, Akonta mining, Akonta mining. What about Tony Urban? What did he say? Have you heard it? Please, this hypocrisy, we should stop. Abusia, and seven of my boy, Chile, will also far comment, Tibra. The Obra Paul A. King, Wagin Chilum, and the Senna Galamse, Yanka San Eber, and your fixes are Galamse, because I quite say, eh, Obia, they say a doom, and you are dying. I didn't see solution on the APCCA. But solution na kwe sempe yifu ni nyine ni msolusi yinu. But ubiya pese mi unku minyantino. Ana kwe si ubiya e kasa na oboni yon kwe chi bim bim. Se de biwa ni nipa ba akubi hunsu wani ya yeko reti. Ibiya ni se toni ya kwe jina eye. Eh, Bebi ya ye e jume yi. A ah, wakana chilo omu say. Omu gala msi ni di omu nko suwa na omu nyanu. Wasa anso chilo omu shi omu kutupa yi. Ena po e kan huwa semi. Ti gala msi ni se mwa e kwa so. E wo e ye good evening gana. Tama na po e ye ni program no. E ni mabuwa chile. Ube chimili wajun chila ba. Solution ni epe. Nansem wey di pointing fingers yi. Who ni sayin?